Every year at our school, Central Magnet, engineering students are tasked with identifying a problem that we can solve. And Manning came to me and suggested doing something to it with the environment. I just knew that, that I had to make my senior thesis a carbon scrubber. I came in after Manning and Jaden needed um, a third set of eyes to look at things and maybe help out on the design process a bit. When I heard Samsung chose to be state finalist, I was uh, I was honestly amazed. <laughs> I was really excited and uh, I wanted to do the best I could. A lot of students choose projects that are kind of, I think, of pipe dreams that would be nice to do, but aren't, may not be feasible or practical or have already been done in some form or another. I feel like this project was one that we could actually do. A scrubber is a device that is used to absorb the amount of VOCs and pollution in gas. It absorbs carcinogens, pollution, stuff like that, CO2. In places with a lot of air pollution, like China, for instance, this would help cut down on the emissions that uh, contribute to those pollutions and make the air quality much better and safer to breathe. We were researching for a type of a substance or chemical to absorb the pollution, the VOCs, the carcinogens. And we really stumbled with that at first. We were working with MTSU professors over there trying to figure out what type of chemicals would work best. But we finally landed on activated charcoal. Anything that used to be living or is living can be turned into activated charcoal. And how we do it at MTSU is we will soak that material. We use chestnut and we soaked it into like a specific chemical. We stick it in a furnace for about, what is it, 24 hours. And it heats up to about a thousand degrees for about eight hours. And then it slows back down to uh, room temperature. It's a lot cheaper than modern uh, catalytic converters and things like that, that which use uh, precious metals to convert the toxins. I have a personal friend who works for Nissan and he actually was worked in the Navy as a scrubber on the, the warships. And so I, I ran the idea by him and said, is it possible to do this on a vehicle? And he thought, if it is possible, you'll be rich. So the exhaust from your engine flows down a pipe and flows into here. And this piece here makes a vortex inside of the mechanism, which flows through the activated carbon. That'll be inside of here. And then it flows out here clean. So it comes in bad and comes out clean. After testing, we've discovered that the carbon does not have as high of an absorption rate as we expected. Our new design is going to focus on keeping the exhaust inside the carbon scrubber for as long as possible. We're also experimenting with sodium hydroxide as a new medium. Regardless, we are committed to the project. Ideally, we'd have um, partnerships with uh, vehicle manufacturers, and then they would take our design from there and put it into their vehicles. I just hope that no matter how small it is, there's some, some reduction in pollution from emissions. Like even a small pollution, as one one percent reduction will add up quickly in all kinds of cars. So I feel like our place as people on this planet is to impact as many lives as possible and try to change for the better.